Hi, so granted, I am a magpie. If I've got a project running and I'm looking around, it's just amazing, really, what I come across. So I came across six lengths of this stuff. They're about two metres long and they're three millimetre box section steel. It looks about 50 by 25, so uh, an inch by two inch, something like that. But it's a whole load of it. I mean, there's enough there to do something with, and that's for sure. I mean, I'm kind of tempted to make a quad bike out of it, but it's a lot of steel. And of course, this is because I'm welding that I'm really interested in this stuff. But I just saw this in a skip. Amazing! It's beautiful, really beautiful. But that's not what the video is about. The video is about how the degasifier is going. Okay, so courtesy of my newfound welding skill, the gasifier is actually pretty much together. So this is the gasifier unit. This is the heart of the device. Now, the, none of this is critical, remember. The only critical thing is this central fire tube here. You can get that from the FEMA booklet that we pointed out in part one. The rest of it really is up to you. It needs to be relatively gas tight, and so this one is. I've taken time to fill all the holes in the side of the beer barrel, for instance, by welding plates on. I've left one open because that's going to be the exhaust. So the sin gas comes out of here. So it generates the whole thing in here. It's only got one exit, and that's where we collect the sin gas. Now, um, I like the look of the beer barrel. To me, it looks very Wallace and Gromit, and I like that sort of style. I might beef that up a little bit to make it even more so, but it's all just what I like, really. You can use a huge range of things. And the door I went for in the end was just really simple. A couple of bolts. And I use this plate. And I use this plate because I have this plate. And it's just a flat steel plate that I have from a mould. And in here, the fire tube comes to about midpoint of here. And then underneath there is a grate that you can give a little shake to when it comes to cleaning that out. Bottom of the fire well, pipe right there. So underneath there goes a grate and that is completely finished welded this on yet so that we could have a look at the inside of it and so I can do any other things that I want to do. If I lift out that fire tube, you can see what it is. It's just a piece of pipe with a metal flange put on top and it drops into the beer barrel. Obviously I've put a fair amount of work into this and obviously um, I don't really want to ruin it by my awful welding. So I've got a bit of plate here that will fasten onto there in the same way that I did this. That is, I'm just going to bolt it on with some sealant. That means I can actually weld my actual exhaust pipe to this section here, and if I ruin it, well, I'll get another bit of plate. If I tried to weld it straight onto here and I ruin it, well, I've ruined all that work, and that would be most disappointing. So that's the plan to put the exhaust pipe from there. But... Essentially, the gasifier unit is done. What we now need to do is collect that sin gas and clean it. Now there are three stages to cleaning. The first is to put it through a cyclone filter, then to put it through a particle filter, and then to put it through a cooler, then it goes to the engine. I've seen various things where it's uh, running the engine straight from different stages. It is very dirty and it will damage your engine, so as an emergency measure you can do it, but you're better off cleaning and cooling it to get the most energy out. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to um, make those two stage filters and the cooler. The first stage filter tends to be a cyclone filter. Now a cyclone filter is very little more than a large tube with an angled entrance and a smaller tube inside the large tube lower than the entrance where the exit is. What I've got for that is this thing, a fire extinguisher. So what I'm going to do is take this part off, leaving me a threaded part there, and there I'll put a trap, because it'll be that way up. Now, the gas will enter at an angle here, exiting from here and entering an angle here, and it'll have to spiral round, because the exit will be a long tube going down to the bottom there. It'll have to spiral round and then come out the exit tube to the next stage. And that spiralling, the particles will collect on the outside, drip down, into the tap that, um, trap that we're going to fasten at the bottom. So the cyclone filter is the next thing to make after you've made the gasifier unit, and that's obviously what we're going to make. Anyway, I thought I'd keep you up to date with where we are. I hope you enjoyed the video, and thank you very much for watching.